저는 이제 그 다이노홀을 나와서 Nature Lab에 나와 있는데요. So what is the theme of Nature Lab? So our Nature Lab is a really uh, great example of people working with animals and the animals that share our world with us, more specifically right here in Los Angeles. So we have highlighted some amazing live animals that are both LA locals, but also invasive species. So animals that came here purely because humans are around. People who use maybe parrots as pets or really liked little turtles and brought them over. Um, so it's showcasing animals that are doing really, really well because people are around and animals that are kind of slowly losing their foothold in their environment because we're making our cities bigger and bigger. Oh, okay, shall we um, kind of look around? Sure. Because <laughs> I see the water here. Yeah, we have these red sliders. Hi, turtle. <laughs> So these red-eared sliders are not native to Los Angeles. They're not native to anywhere. Right, but they've managed to make this foothold because mm -hmm. people bring them in as pets and then right. release them when they realize that turtles can live for a really long time. They're not ready for that commitment. I know, the, the same thing happened when I was in Korea too. Like oh, really? they, yeah, they would bring uh, these type of turtles like, to Korea. It's happening all over. And th those things are vicious. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why they're kind of bumping out all, a lot of the native turtle populations. Is tur some turtles are a little shyer, mm -hmm. or as, not as shy. And uh, these red-eared sliders can be a little bossy. They right. can they're, they're really right. take a hold. Yeah. Like that's like, uh, that's a full-grown turtle? Mm -hmm. Hi. He they wants to little, say hi. <laughs> they get a little bigger. Oh my god, he not loves much. the attention. <laughs> it's not camera, camera shy at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other one is just kind of like, what are you doing? So here, so here we started to get into our spider communities here. Um, so just like a lot of the animals that are suffering from people being around and bringing in new species, spiders are part of that. So the black widow that is native is kind of slowly being bumped out by the brown widow. Now the brown widow. <laughs> Never heard of brown widow. Yeah. yeah, they are. We have two examples here. Are those live spiders? Some of them are. Some of them are not. So like this guy here is a black widow. Oh. We have one here as well, right under there. As you can see, these black widows are not easy to find. They really like hiding under things because that's where they're comfortable. Oh. Aren't they um, poisonous? They um. So all spiders have venom. Mm -hmm. That's how they eat. So they inject their venom into their food. Um, it kind of liquefies them and they're able to slurp it up kind of like a cricket smoothie. Um, but black widows are venomous to us as well, but not at, I think, the fever pitch degree that a lot of people think. So you'll get a little bump, a little irritation, but otherwise it's not very serious. Okay. Um, I think I saw like a movie when I was younger, like uh, there's like a giant black widow <laughs> coming at you. They're always kind of vilified, right? right. And yeah. I don't blame people. They're these black, shiny, kind of intimidating looking insects. Uh, this one is arachnid. definitely alive. Yeah. I just saw its mouth moving. Yeah, so it has these little calissery and these little petty palps, and that's how they're able to manipulate the world around them along with their legs. And you can see this one laying down some silk to cover up her eggs. Oh my God. And you can see, if, even if you don't see two examples, the black widow egg sac looks a lot different than the brown widow egg sac. Wow. Yeah, yeah this one's incredibly spiky. Mm -hmm. And again, this animal is kind of pushing out the black widow. widow. Is this one more aggressive? Um, I wouldn't really call it more aggressive. We start to see it in a lot uh, more open localities. And so unlike the black widow that likes to hide and kind of stay safe in its little uh, home, the brown widow is a little more adventurous. 네, 지금까지 내추럴 히스토리 뮤지엄의 이 여러 전시회를 살펴봤는데요. 이 멤버십 프로그램이나 이 워크숍도 다양하게 준비가 돼 있다고 해요. So you guys have a membership program? We do, and we do our best here to suit it to everyone's needs. So if you're an individual, we have an individual level, level membership. We have a family level membership that can fit up to, I think, four different children. We have, if you just want to bring your spouse, if you want to bring your spouse and your mother, you can absolutely do that. Um, so we do our best to have not just a lot of perks for the membership, but a lot of variety for the types of uh, visits that our guests will be having here. So where can we get the information of the new exhibits and membership and everything? Yeah, anything you would need to know either about our new exhibits, about membership, about workshops, things like that, are all online at www.nhm.org. Um, it's an amazing resource, even if you're a teacher and you're interested in coming here and bringing a class, we have resources there for you as well. 
So like there you can get information about the workshops that we were talking about before. Yeah, we have these amazing workshops. If you are a member, you do get a discount, but all of them are open to guests, the public. Um, and you're able to get a little more information about what the workshop is about, when it is, how much it is, all that good stuff right online. 지금까지 저와 함께 이 내추럴 히스토리 뮤지엄을 살펴보셨는데요. 정말 이 자연에 대한 전반적인 정보가 너무나 많고 그리고 이 장소 자체가 너무나 넓고 아름다워서 특히 자녀분들 있으신 분들 같이 오시면 정말 좋은 시간을 보내실 수 있을 것 같습니다. 지금까지 저는 레나였고요. 저희 원소 LA 다음 주에는 더욱 재미있고 유익한 정보로 찾아뵙겠습니다. 오늘 에피소드 재미있게 보셨나요? 저는 프리아스를 타고 다니니까 더 좋던데요. 앞에서 말씀드렸듯 제 삶은 참 다양한 것들로 이루어져 있어요. 한국과 미국 두 세계 모두 놓칠 수 없죠. 제 하이브리드 라이프는 많은 무빙 파트들로 이루어져 있습니다. 완소 LA를 진행하면서 때로는 벅차지만 너무나 즐겁습니다. LA의 즐길 만한 요소들을 한인 커뮤니티에 소개하는 것이 참 보람 있어요. 제 생활은 아주 활동적이에요. 완소 LA를 진행하면서 이동량이 참 많아졌습니다. 오늘도 촬영을 하러 가는 길인데요. 잠깐 새로운 프리아스의 기능들을 먼저 알아보도록 하겠습니다. 프리아스는 제가 찾는 많은 장점들을 갖추고 있어요. 스타일, 성능, 기술력 등 최신 기능으로 두 세계 사이를 매끄럽게 이용할 수 있도록 해주죠. 주차도 도와주고 또 셀폰을 와이어레스로 충전할 수 있다니 참 대단하죠. 2016년 프리에스에는 더욱 새로운 기능이 많이 있답니다. 지금 남가주 토요타 딜러를 방문해 더 많은 정보를 찾아보세요. 저도 올 한해 새로운 정보를 알려드리겠습니다. 완소 LA를 시청해주셔서 감사합니다. 다음 주에 더 새롭고 유익한 정보로 찾아뵙겠습니다. 나의 하이브리드 라이프는 새로워진 2016 프리어스 하이브리드 제공입니다. 남가주 토요타 딜러에서 뵙겠습니다.